Since the announcement of the $30 million advanced mill and paved road program earlier this month, contractors have been working around the clock to complete the projects. So I anticipate that between now and certainly um, the end of, I would say probably by July, if weather permitting, that Barbadians will certainly see improved conditions across the country with major roads, major arteries, and certainly in the residential districts as well. So we are, we are moving, we are on track. We have completed a number of the roads in St. Peter, in particular around the Spitestown area, Chapel Street, Bavel Road, Mango Lane and others in, in close proximity have been completed to date. Crab Hill to Archers Bay in St. Lucie has also been started and the extensive paving has already commenced in those areas and it has made certainly the, the road um, to Archers Bay, which is a popular tourist attraction but also a popular picnic site for Barbadians, um, particularly even more attractive than it has been before. Rose and Arthur Seat St. Thomas are to be targeted next and the parliamentary representative Cynthia Ford is overjoyed the constituency is finally getting attention. Here at Melrose really required a lot of attention and uh, because it's a major artery it is not that we've left out the folks over in Ericot or Cane Field or Dunscombe, or Highland, or anywhere, because in between they're getting the patching done to be able to help to make it more habitable, but many people have their car tires and other parts of their vehicles damaged as a result of it, and it's a lot to do with the heavy rainfall that we are having now. The Transport Minister notes all parishes will eventually see road upgrades this year, and attention will also be given to Highways 1 and 7 and their arteries. Persons would recall that just, just a few weeks ago we had um, Highway 7, uh, a major area in Highway 7 actually um, rehabilitated and we didn't want to go too much further because at the time obviously we were mindful that the sewage project is obviously coming on stream but it was clear to the ministry also that there are some other areas that we're going to have to address and so the team has been doing the walkthrough with the, um, the contractors to be with a view to being able to look not only at Highway 7 to see how we can do some overlay but also to be able to do a similar thing on Highway 1 as well. And those areas which will connect us onto Highway 1 are on the list as well, the Mount Stanford, the Seaview Road and others which connect us onto Highway 1. Again, we want to ensure that um, you know, the, we, we address some of the, the concerns that have been plaguing us for quite some time. The ministry and contractors are promising to keep the disruptions to residents to a minimum as the roadworks progress. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.